Okay, folks, listen, I'm back at it again with another barbecue video, right? Now listen, instead of being outside on the grill, right, because it's hot, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna go ahead and make these wings, and we're gonna do them inside of the oven. You know what I mean? Uh, you can do them in the oven, you can take them outside, you can smoke them however you want to, but for me, as hot as it is outside, we finna use this oven. And with all of that talking I just said, we making honey-baked barbecue wings. Let's get it. Okay, so listen, you see I got all my ingredients in these bowls, right? Oh, let me just go ahead and say this. Don't forget the full ingredient list will be down in detail on my website, Smoking and Grilling with AB, and that's WITAB.com, right? This right here, I set it up in sections, right? This is gonna be my flour and that's gonna be my seasoning, right? Then when we come over here to this right here, we are gonna do a homemade ranch, right? Some of you guys don't even know that ranch is so easy to make. I don't know why everybody's still buying it, right? So that'll take care of that. And then we're gonna do barbecue sauce and we mix it with a little honey. And this is gonna be where we get our flavor from, you know, to keep it OG with the uh, barbecue. All right, so look, we are gonna start off right here by just going ahead and preheating our oven, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit bake. Listen, we're gonna do 425, right? And then we're gonna hit the start, right? Reason I'm doing that, for one, we gotta get the oven up to temp anyway, but this right here is gonna go by so quick, I'll probably be finished prepping all of this before my oven even gets up to temp, right? So first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do some trimming over this way. We can look at this. Now I know a lot of you guys, look, when you buy the party bag of wings, I call them the seconds. You know why? Because look, when you look right here, you see how it's got this, they kind of like sloppy, but then when you get to the little smaller packs, they all clean and look like drum heads and flats, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim just a little bit, right? We go like this. I'm just getting a little excess off, that's all. And another reason I like to get rid of the, some of the small stuff, cause listen, it will try to like burn on you. You know what I mean? So if you see anything hanging off, like this little meat right here, and because I'm doing a video, I do like for mine to look, you know, halfway decent, right? And that was like some good chicken. All right, so look, this is the way I like to show people, especially if you're new, this keeps you from being such a chore, right? After I measure out all of my ingredients, I set them all in, you know, in the bundle like how they're supposed to be. If it's several different things I do, I set them all up. So for one, we're getting ready to take our flour and all of our seasonings. This would make it easy, folks. Just dump it all in here, just like you see. Then you just want to take a whisk. You want all of your seasonings and your herbs and everything to be all, you know, incorporated throughout, right? And the only way we're going to know if we got enough seasoning in here is we got to taste it, folks. You can ensure that all of your chicken will taste good. All right. Now, I didn't taste this. I made an adjustment. I added just a pinch more of salt, and I put some of, you know, some more seasoning in there just to get it to, you know, to my taste, right? Now, this is the part where it gets real simple. Take these. Put them in here just like this. You guys remember when grandma used to do the old shake and bake, right? Remember when I take chicken, I like to squeeze it. I like to get it everywhere, all right? You'll see, sometimes it doesn't get up in there like that. We just, this part real easy. You can't get this wrong, folks. Shake off a little excess and just put it right there. We do the same for all of the other parts, right? Okay, so I just finished, and right before I did my last one, my oven, you know, come up to temp, right? If I'd have had a bigger bowl, I could have done a lot more, you know, a little faster. You know what I mean? By having a small bowl, you know, only being able to do a couple at a time, you know, putting my hand inside of that, it took just that long, right? But as you can see, look at them. Now I started right here and started coming down this way, right? And I went back this way, and then come in this way. The reason I'm showing you that, because it had a little bit of time to, you know, let the flour and the seasoning, the seasoned flour adhere to the chicken, right? So, what I'm getting ready to do is, I'm getting ready to put this in the oven. And we're gonna put this in the oven for 40 minutes, right? But I'm gonna set another side timer for 20 minutes. When it gets to 20 minutes, I like to take them, look, take a look at them, and then I flip them. Now, you guys are gonna wanna know, sometimes you see me, like when I do air fryer videos, you know what I mean? I spray them with a little uh, spray olive oil or whatever, but because they're gonna be in there for so long, listen, and these are nice, big, and meaty, what it's gonna do is render some of that fat down and help cook it. Man, real simple, folks. One more time, you get to take a look, and now we go in. Remember, folks, 40 minutes, and then set another one for 20, because at 20 minutes, we're gonna flip them over. All right, so let's go back. Remember I was talking to you guys and I was telling you about how we do it. We put all of our seasonings and everything that was going into our flour. Now everything else, now we're getting ready to make this homemade ranch. 
is these ingredients, right? So instead of me dirtying up a lot of different bowls and you know, stuff like that, this is a two cup Pyrex, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just add everything in here, right? So let me get my spatula because I want to get it all, right? So the reason I say that, because look, if you just dump it like that, look at this. That's all part of our measurements. And this is right here. Man, we done worked hard trying to get you these uh, measurements to get them right, right? So we put everything, this right here is gonna trip you guys out. That's pickle juice. Don't forget, full ingredient list, smoking and grilling with AB.com, and that's W I T A B.com. Salt, the rest of my, my dry. Right? So now I'm just gonna set this off to the side because what I wanna do now is I wanna add my sour cream. When it comes to like something like this, you wanna get the right measurement, right? So I like to just get enough, right? Get it packed in, run this off the top. And that little void you see right there. I'm not gonna worry about it, but this is a quarter cup. Now, we talk about always having the right tool for the job. That's where this comes in at, right? So, we're gonna go in here like this and just drop this in there. Now, I'll just take my whisk and I'm just gonna work this together. I want you guys to taste this. Don't do nothing else. Just tell me where you was at right when you tasted it, right? Now, we're not finished yet, but when I show it to you, look at this. Look at the, the consistency, all right? Now I'm gonna leave that like that, put this top on, get this up out the way, all right? Now we're finna go ahead and put a little parsley. Gotta have that little green in there. So now we got this fresh parsley. What I'm gonna do now is just start, you know, I guess chopping it or mincing it down, right? But what I'm really looking for is a fine, you know, mix, right? You'll see. Now for those of you guys that wanna go ahead and add a whole, you know, wanna make some and put it in the refrigerator, this will last you a couple of weeks you know, in the refrigerator, right? No preservatives, remember, we made it from all fresh ingredients, right? Then, we, you know, if you go ahead and either, I would say, I would probably triple or quadruple, you know, uh, the recipe, you know, so you guys can just like fill it up and just save some. So now we're gonna go ahead and just add a little bit to it, like that, right? Look at that right there. Now you all know what them specs is when you get it. You see that? That's that fresh parsley, folks, look. All right, so hopefully you guys can see that. You know what I mean? I like a little bit of a thicker uh, ranch. If you guys want it to be a little bit more, I guess, liquefied or whatever, you can add yourself just a little bit more buttermilk or you can just add yourself like maybe a teaspoon of uh, regular milk if you have that in your refrigerator. You know what I mean? But this right here, I like to be able to dunk it and it stick, you know? So what I want to do is, and the reason why I made it so early is, I'm finna put some saran wrap right over the top. And guess what? We are gonna put it in the refrigerator and get it nice and cold. Now, if you look right here, look, this is the first 20 minutes, right? Like I said, we pull it out. Now, for those of you guys that want to use some kind of like spray olive oil or something like that, you can go ahead and just spray a little bit on the white. I normally don't do that. I'm doing this for those of you guys that just really can't see it, right? Then I just flip them and then we put them back into the uh, oven at that 425 for the remainder 20 minutes. And actually, when I get towards the 20 minutes, I check it and I use a temp. Okay, so here we go. This is 40 minutes. Take those out. Look at them right there. I'll set them here so you guys can see them. All right, so now you just mix your, your favorite barbecue sauce, right? So we'll just put this in here like that. All right, so look, I'm gonna give you guys a little pro tip, right? Listen, I need to have a quarter cup, right? If you take some spray oil or something like that, let me just get this away from there like that. I'm just gonna spray it, right? Then, since I have a quarter cup right here, I wanna get my honey. This just helps it come out. I learned this from one of my uh, subscribers. Let me put this down so you guys can see it, all right? Then we take it, it just makes it flow out of there a whole lot better. Even before I hit it with this, like you almost won't have to, because you look, you see how I pull it off and it just runs down. Just a pro tip, folks. So, honey, the barbecue, look at how it looks. It turns it from that dark color, you know, it makes it a little bit more smooth, you know what I mean? Then I take this, my spatula, and I go around the edge and I push down on the bottle so I can get anything that, you know, didn't get mixed on there. I can tell you right now, you guys can probably like work this with your brain. You know this is fire. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this and drop these in here like this. One of the things that I could have done to help myself from all of this sticking, you know what I mean, is uh, when you use a baking, a cooling sheet like this, I'm gonna taste it though. What you wanna do is you wanna spray it so that you don't get none of this sticking. And I probably should have said this too, you know, you can always just use parchment paper. I don't like using the parchment paper for me because it makes it a little bit soft on one side, you know what I mean? But it all works fine. Okay, so 
I put them in here right now. You got two options. I'm gonna toss my, you know, toss my wings, right, and my barbecue sauce. Or you guys can like put them on the pan, you know what I mean, and you can brush them on. Brush them on to keep, you know, more of your, I said to keep more of your, you know, your bread and everything on the outside. But for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and just add it. Look at that right there. All right, so listen, I left my oven on at 425 degrees, right? What we're gonna do is, since we tossed them in the barbecue sauce, we want this to caramelize over the top. Not too much, right? So I'm gonna stick this in here. We only gonna go for about eight minutes, right? I'm gonna stick it inside, close this, and I'm gonna set a timer for eight minutes, just so that I, just in case I do walk off, but anytime I'm caramelizing something, I stay right here in the vicinity, and I keep my eyes on them, because I don't want them to be too dark. You know, the sugars in there will burn, make it look nasty. So we want some pretty ones so that you guys can click on that thumbnail. Okay, so look, I want to show you what I mean when I say it's about to caramelize. You can actually see the barbecue sauce starting to bubble, right? So I'm gonna open this up because it's gonna stop quickly, but I want you guys to pay attention. Look, look at that right there. You can see it's a little darker, but you see some of it. Oh man, the aromatic that comes off of that, that's what it's all about. Now, what I didn't say is, listen, when anytime it comes to uh, chicken, you gotta have yourself some type of uh, meat thermometer. You gotta be able to get them internal temps. Now, we already went 40 minutes on these small pieces of chicken. You know what I mean? Uh, just about, I can guarantee that that's uh, right, right? Then we went back in there for another eight to 10 minutes, you know what I mean? Uh, just to caramelize on top. I'm telling you, they right. And if you see I got a little bit more space, I'm gonna tell you how I look. That should tell you how you know I know it's right because I done ate a couple already. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting these over here like this, just stacking them up. You know what I mean? Because I'm ready to go ahead and eat a few of these. Okay, folks, look. I done took a lot of pictures of these and I'm about to make these a star, right? So, homemade ranch and honey barbecue go together hand in hand, folks. I'm not gonna lie to you, so I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this one right here. Hey, D, mess it up. But you see that right there? Look at that. Ah, nice, not runny. Mm. So listen, I'm gonna go ahead and dip. Then you can see how it sticks. If I take it and turn it upside down like that, see how it's not runny? Remember I said you can add a little bit of milk to it, a little bit more buttermilk or however you want to do it, right? So I'm gonna take this and I'm finna eat, folks. Cheers. Mm. Mm. This is right. Mm. You're talking about sweet and savory. Hold on. Hey, you know I'm gonna hurry up and wrap this up. Listen, you gotta try it. I done already told you, look, you're talking about sweet and savory. Most of you guys are probably with your brain, you're thinking like the barbecue sauce, I'm good with that. But look, it's that combination with the homemade ranch. Hey, hands down, this is the one that gets them, right? So listen, talk to me, let me know down in the comment section below, what would you do? What other dips do you guys like? Would you have this by itself or whatever? And I gotta tell you this, this is a really, I almost want to call it a budget-friendly uh, meal because I have most of these ingredients, you know, even in my, you know, my own kitchen. You know what I mean? Uh, I just have them. You know what I mean? Outside of the honey, because honey can get a little bit uh, on the expensive side. But the wings are cheap. You know what I mean? And then the ingredients just to uh, make the, uh, the ranch, that's it. But so that I don't ramble, talk to me down in the comment section below. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And I can't help myself, folks. I'm out. Peace.